so hey what is up everyone this is karen here welcome back to tech karen youtube channel you already use a lot of minui rooms actually and now we have another minui room which is minui pulse which contains a lot of features ui is kind of a little bit of different here kind of unique and it looks quite great this one is minui pulse 12.2 by evolution extended and the vendor is by sudeep duhan as always we have the latest general security patch and it's based on android version 10 so yes it's compatible with the me a tool devices using redmi note 9 pro redmi note 9 pro max 9s and poco m2 pro all are compatible with this just need a compatible vendor i'm gonna share with you the review and installation let's get started quickly and okay let's get started with some cool and interesting thing by default which you get here and the default things which you get here is like of same if you go for other things wait let me show you by going into settings here we have these pulse settings first of all you can see here these pulse settings are main hub of customizations if you can say and also let me show you my status bar here uh, we have some customizations i also applied the super wallpaper super wallpapers are present here too let me show you by guy going applying that super wallpaper or sorry always on display and how it is looking like this is looking great as you can see i've applied a super wallpaper and also applied the always on display and it both are looking quite great and impressive and you can also use them very easily of course always on display is not recommended because it's an lcd display it's not recommended for you but yes if you just want to show off and just want to give it a try for some time then it would not be a bad idea as i always do sometimes and super wallpapers are quite smooth here so this room is quite smooth honestly you can use it if you want to and if you are looking for some other things lock screen includes the same features which we got in all minui 12.5 features it's based on minui 12.5 actually so all the ui changes are same here new display which includes the dark mode 3.0 we also have the action bar which i don't know what is this actually but maybe something interesting i didn't got much time to test that by the way so that's why and we have the control center notification shade you can switch the control center side but also we have some other things which are in some other languages which i don't know but these are now fully translated not every pul the pull settings are actually translated but not other settings are this is actually a russian room but it's actually translated to English so that is very comfortable for all of the users if you're using in India or if you're using in other devices if you're using anywhere but looking for English language we have some customizations in home screen as you can see arrange items in recents and other things a little bit of stuff password security has the same kind of things let me share with you some things about this build some little bit of stuff again about this build first of all you can see the status bar icons are different here control center is different here control center is fully themed you can see i have the four big tiles already available not actually four but four rows and eight big tiles are available and here we also have customized uh, shapes and styles and colors a lot more things and with these all things you can do just within this custom room by going into pulse settings also let me show you some other things these are the cool looking icons which you get here which you can customize by default there's no worries about this and let me show you by going into play store my device is not certified by default i have not installed the magic but if you are actually if you're seeing the magic magic is not installed properly so actually it's not installed but if you want to install then you can so see and check it out device is not certified for me here by default pearl settings here includes some cool and interesting customizations status bar customization brightness bar large tiles small tiles and some little bit of stuff which you can easily customize without even any issues assigning large tiles includes the four as you can see i've already applied those four rows so that's why it's here you can simply adjust these things if you want to control center is a very cool kind of thing to themed so you don't need any custom themes by from the theme store theme your control center very easily all these themings according to your likes already available here also you can customize these styles values to gps or whatever else so that's good but you cannot use the third party apps by default audio visualization settings are quite good you can simply enable that from the settings we also have other things where include the status bar customizations these are interesting one and you can simply just like this move drag and drop or wherever you want to place those icons this looks really impressive i just got to know about this i was using this thing in android version 6 with flat style bar indicators if you are if you know those kind of things you might definitely love this also status bar right sector left sector and center 
just behind the notch or not actually beside the notch actually we have the charge indicator options battery related things icons indicator size this is a very interesting thing kind of a good alternative of a miui pro room you can say miui pro also has some cool kind of customizations notification icon settings and some little bit of things like status bar status icon settings just size and offset and icon color let's take a look at the installation some things which are required to install of course the rom file the vendor file and the firmware file but if it's still not booting for you you can also use a disable dm verity or whatever else you want to i have the orange fox custom recovery so here after going into orange fox custom recovery as always dalvi cache data i will wipe if you don't want to wipe it's up to you it's not necessary by the way but yes it's good if you just use this swipe to wipe for first of these things and after that how you can install that just go to your location where you have downloaded all those files in my case first one is a rom file pixels extended not actually pixel extended that's a usb based rom now second one is the vendor one which you need to select and vendor is up to your device i have the cortana vendor you can use the vendor according to your device also like in my case i am using cortana vendor sorry for this one actually i just actually accidentally just chosen three one file or actually one file two times so i need to remove this one by going into okay remove latest here so what i need to do is i need to select all these three files in one queue by going here from there and all these things swipe to install and done very easy and other things what i was telling you yes vendor is up to your device which device you are using you can use that one for my data and done very easy this is all from today's short and simple video of me why pulse i hope you like this thanks for watching and goodbye have a nice day